fine, Lily. So yeah. yeah, I'm doing great. And how about you? Yes, I'm doing good too. Thank you. Okay. How's uh, what is this Tuesday? So how's Tuesday treating you so far? <laughs> Uh, pretty good as usual, I must say, because I, I am a homemaker and uh, everything is as usual, nothing new. It's a yeah. working day, so yeah. What I about guess, you? Yeah, I would say we are in the same boat or it's our everyday story because I am also a homemaker, so same, nothing happening, nothing rocking, just doing the same stuff and again sitting in front of my laptop and having sessions. So that is it. So before we move further, I uh, want to know about you a little bit more about you. So please uh, let me know something about you. Yes, sure. Uh, so as you know, my name is Shanta. Uh, I work for a platform as a spoken English trainer. Okay. I live in Karnataka and uh, by qualification, I am a software engineer. I've, complete, uh, I've completed my computer science engineering. And um, yep, I've recently started a YouTube channel and currently my favorite hobby is working on my channel. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. So I'm Niharana. Uh, I'm also a proud homemaker. I would like love to say that I've been working as a homemaker for 14 years now. <laughs> and uh, yes, my native place is uh, one of the most beautiful states in India, Himachal. Uh, but currently I stay in Mohali, that is in Punjab. I am a passionate inquisitor and that is the reason sitting here in front of you because I want to explore myself and I genuinely want to polish my communication skills. I've been taking online sessions for seven years now where I deal with the uh, school going kids, school going children or college going students and even uh, homemakers also. But uh, I feel confined sometimes while sitting in front of uh, students or uh, younger ones or with within the walls of my home because being a homemaker i am not stepping out so i was uh, looking for uh, this exposure where uh, i get chances to or where i can explore myself uh, you know having these kind of interactions so that is the reason i uh, am here today and uh, if i talk about my hobby so i would say music uh, always floats my boat. I love listening to music. I am a biggest fan of uh, typical Hindi Bollywood music. So that is it. That's all about me. Yes, yes. Same here. I love listening to music also. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it kind of um, adds as a acts as a therapy for me whenever I yes. feel low or be it any instant. You know, uh, music yes. is a thing that I turn to all the time, and I love watching Bollywood movies. I'm a big time movie buff. <laughs> I, I I forget everything when I'm watching a movie. I you know, I'm totally immersed into it. Wow, that's wonderful. Yes, actually, uh, I uh, used to I often tell people that music uh, works as a fuel to my energy. So whenever it doesn't matter whenever I'm low, even when I I am overjoyed, I always go uh, for you no know, music or songs. So that's something that is uh, common between us. Or uh, I am curious to know uh, you are a software engineer. If I talk about your qualification, then why this sudden change? Uh, you know, you work as a soft skills trainer or English speaking trainer. So uh, is this uh, just because of your uh, family or taking care of your kids kind of stuff? So what is the reason? Yes, I was so I completed my computer science engineering and then I was uh, I got the opportunity to get placed in one of the campus interviews. So after mm -hmm. that, I worked in a company at Bangalore. After that, I got married and mm -hmm. I had to relocate to some other place. I couldn't continue oh. in the same place. So where I moved to, there was not much scope for um, software engineers and it was very difficult to find a job in the industry. Mm -hmm. That is the reason I made a shift. And now it's been quite some time. It's been a decade that I've been, you know, uh, I'm not mm. having any hands-on experience on it anymore. Yes. So it would take a lot of time for me to invest and learn something new, upskill myself, mm. then look for work there. And I live in Kaito city. It is difficult that uh, for me to find work from home in yes. the in the domain that I want to. Uh, and uh, another reason is that I cannot work full time. Mm -hmm. I cannot take in all the stress and you know uh, put my kids into you know priority yes. number two. I can't exactly. do that. So exactly. I thought that I will do something which can, uh, which will give me the liberty to balance my work and life both. 
so i'm currently working just as a freelancer and the platform that i'm working for uh, mm -hmm. gives me the freedom to choose my slots yes. on my own mm -hmm. so like you know uh, if the learners want to learn from me at that given specific time i, I will be available for them and said that uh, after after that um i still have some time actually when the learners hmm. are not approaching or some free slots are available so I, i thought i will make the best use of even that time that is the reason yeah. i started a youtube channel <laughs> which will give other people also an opportunity to connect with me talk talk to me uh, we will learn with um, we will learn from each other yes so yeah that's the reason i'm here yeah yes actually i consider or i always uh, um i'm grateful to skype app actually because uh, it has given uh, wings to our dreams if i specifically uh, talk about homemakers because there was a time when i was literally looking for these kind of interactions uh, but uh, the thing is there are all, all the platforms we have to pay for uh, these kind of sessions yes. and we have the uh, limitations when we deal with experts or when we have that interaction with uh, experts or tutors so those sessions i guess go for 15 or 25 minutes and we have to pay pretty good amount for those uh, classes so uh, you know every time we can't afford so i came across skype and i was uh, um, like on sky, uh, cloud 9 to know where i can have interactions that to uh, free of cost yeah. so it's wonderful and uh, second thing because uh, you are a homemaker you are a like obviously you are a married woman and you left your job after your marriage so many times but i uh, get to hear that marriage some people uh, takes marriage as an obstacle specifically when it comes to a woman a woman's career so what is your take on this do you also feel the same or you have something different about this no actually you know uh, if you are really passionate on doing something you can convince your spouse and mm -hmm. men these days are very encouraging like you know majority of the men that i have met they are very open to their wife going out and working or you know they are um, okay to accept them as equals it's okay for them to work and they are they are very broad minded these days right yes. and i don't think that's going to be an obstacle but you know uh, it mm -hmm. might be another case in rural india yes where women are not given that much opportunity to you know mm -hmm. um, upskill or uh, develop or work on themselves so, but other than that the effort talking about it personally my husband is very supportive he still wants like if you want to go back to an it job even that is okay with him hmm. so i don't think it is an obstacle yes so, uh, true that or i would say that i see i to i with it because i believe the same it's not that uh, i think yes because exceptions are always there or uh, i often say that uh, nothing is black and nothing is white it's always gray so uh, there are always uh, everyone has their own um, journeys or life struggles but if i talk about on an average uh, perspective i am also not in favor that marriage is an obstacle uh, when it comes to women or their women or their career because i always wanted to become a teacher uh i also joined a school for a short span but uh, just do i did not want to leave my son all alone i literally wanted to be with him uh, when he was you know uh, uh, is uh, his, uh, at his tender age so i left my job and i don't have regret i uh, i chose to be a homemaker uh, and i am very happy about that sometimes what i feel uh, some uh, women they have uh, some uh, problem with this word homemaker so i generally don't feel it kind of embarrassing i generally introduce myself that i am a proud homemaker because it doesn't matter if you are working professional or if you are not working you are still a homemaker and you should be proud of that because only women can be a homemaker in majority of cases though there are uh, men also who can easily tackle all these situations but the thing is uh, we should not uh, underestimate uh, ourselves first we need to value as a woman i want to uh, tell each and every one that first we need to value ourselves then only we can expect from others to value okay and if i talk about dream so it is your dream you are the one who will take first step then you can blame others don't like stop blaming marriage like i got married then i have to leave my job or i became a mother or blah blah so just take a stand make choices 
dare to decision i just want to say maybe i it sound it may sound very upfront or blunt but i think we are living in this era we are uh, we can at least uh, have that dare to dream and to chase our dream so uh, don't just stop yourself don't just restrict yourself to your places only uh, in this era of technology we can uh, at least take that step towards our dreams so that's it i think i spoke a lot <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay. It it was wonderful to hear all all what you had to say. Um, and you know, even in rural areas, also women are yes. coming up. In villages, also people are trying to improve, and yes. they are trying to stand for themselves. Mm. You know, all thanks to technology, everybody is able yes. to access access it, and they are uh, you know they are able to improve themselves and work on themselves. So that's yeah. really amazing. And you know, the, I want to say one more thing about this opportunity on talking over Skype. you know when you talk to a tutor you will always be judged or yes. they are they they are for they are paid to correct us and huh. listen to us or interact or you know exactly. uh, it it is not a judgment free space hmm. you cannot put yes. your whatever thoughts you have you know mm-hmm. it's like the sole responsibility of the tutor to take the conversation ahead yes. so this one you can like you can be friendly to the person you can discuss whatever you want to so i think this is more free and uh, huh. excellent way to connect to people and we are uh, n- like sometimes if i know that okay now uh, it's a tutor who is sitting in front of me J- i will get uh, conscious and i am going yes, yes. to fumble i am going to get stuck at, at times it happens with me because i have taken i had taken subscription of uh, english yari so uh, sometimes after the session i used to wonder why like why uh, did i ma- like why was i so get i was getting uh, fumbled or getting stuck so it happens actually because we start uh, judging ourselves i i think and the tutor uh, he or she has to te- give feedback so sometimes we got so like sometimes we get so many feedbacks so, okay uh, you need to improve this you need to improve that so it's like okay leave it neha you are not going to do it <laughs> do this so really it uh, sometimes it affects oh, no doubt it uh, helps us to improve uh, our uh, like uh, speaking skills but sometimes it may be or it might be little bit disappointing or discouraging so yes because it uh, it happened with me many times but uh, it uh, like it should be uh, it is completely on you how you take this or how you take all the feedbacks mm, right very few people mm. are there who are equally comfortable whether they are ah. talking to a friend or they are talking to a tutor their speech is same and they do not make the mistakes like they normal talking some yes. people are very comfortable at it but some are not yes, yes. i totally agree right because uh, obviously if i talk about myself in my case english is my third language first is my native himachali then comes hindi and then comes english and we don't use hindi at our uh, homes uh, at our places we use himachali so english to dur ki baat i would say it's not uh, our daily it's not part of our daily lives so for me it was uh, really challenging uh, to enhance my communication skills because because there was a time when i used to have that basic vocabulary i was not comfortable using all idioms and phrases and whenever i tried to uh, you know have conversation with any expert so i used to get that uh, one particular feedback you need to work on your vocabulary and uh, like this thing was literally getting uh, into my nerves but the thing is somehow i uh, kept on practicing kept on practicing and uh, today i am pretty confident at using all the idioms phrases or i am pretty sh- uh, confident that okay now i am able to interact with uh, anyone with any stranger so all the credit goes to practice only and consistency so i think practice consistency are the key factors if you genuinely want to improve or to enhance your communication skills yes yes that that is the first and foremost thing that you have to do like practice is such a thing that you don't need a partner also for that you can yes. do it by yourself and you can do it on your phone you can record yourself you can mm. talk to yourself in front of the mirror these are all very yes. effective okay i just want to share that you know when i started looking for work as mm-hmm. a freelancer so whenever i used to expect some interview call what i used to do is i like you know i constantly keep thinking in english so all the all my thoughts are in english hmm. so <laughs> so i thought i was prepared for the interview so everything is uh, ready in my mind but when i you know i kept uh, 
listening to this often that you need to stand in front of the mirror and practice and speak so i thought okay let let me give it a try and when i went to the mirror surprisingly i, I wasn't getting all the words yes. i was not, right. not, not even able to put 50% of my <laughs> thoughts in speech then i realized this mirror talk is really important to stand mm. there and speak then you will know exactly how much output you have to you you are able to put out so yeah this is a very effective thing you can do you know in order to practice yes. by yourself right uh, i started my youtube channel during lockdown so there was a time when i uh, used to record myself and i wasn't able to speak anything randomly or frequently i took i used mm. to take so many cuts so many retakes but now i am able i just uh, now i pick any topic and i am able to speak uh, at least uh, continuously for 5 to 10 minutes otherwise it was a time when yes there i wasn't able to speak a full sentence because i used to make mistakes uh, du- during the con- when, uh, when during framing of that sentence so it happens actually we are not able to face ourselves so it is a reality and uh, definitely when you are having these kind of interactions you just uh, you are pulling yourself out of your comfort zone because we uh, we haven't planned anything uh, right if i talk about this meeting we haven't this, uh, decided any topic it it is just naturally whatever is going on naturally so i think yes. this thing helps us to explore ourselves in a better way and uh, that uh, we are able to or we become more confident when we are able to present ourselves in a good way so after the conversation it gives us happiness okay uh, i uh, like i did good at during this session so now i am able to you know have these kind of now i am able to have interactions uh, with more people so that's wonderful mm. right okay, and the so... beauty of this particular conversation is that uh, neither of us are asking questions to each other we are yes. just putting out opinions yeah this is the first time that this is happening either i have to ask some question to the opposite person or the the person asks some question to me and it becomes like that you know the discussion hmm. turns out like that but this is happening you're just putting your opinions and i am putting my opinions and I the conversation see. is going on <laughs> yes i love these kind of uh, natural conversations because uh, we, in which like we are presenting it's a it's just a thing that we are not pretending anything it just mm. coming from you no know, it just coming naturally so that's Absolutely. wonderful and uh, before the session i was not uh, i was literally wondering what would be the topic of discussion or uh, like i literally do, uh, did not want to discuss your journey what were the obstacles or you no know, in that uh, particular way but uh, eventually we and uh, like we are able to make it in a very good way and in a very fruitful way and i am personally enjoying this conversation <laughs> same yeah yes and your tutoring journey how do you do it like uh, are you a freelancer or do you take online sessions how do you promote yes. yourself actually uh, if i talk about promoting i am literally disappointed disappointed from social media because uh, if uh, you visit my channel i think i have uploaded or i have published more than 1500 videos mostly these are shorts short videos yes because i ha- i started my channel uh, during in, when uh, in lockdown so it's a long time it's been 4 uh, to 5 years, years now yeah. ha yeah. 4 to 4 years so uh, and uh, but i never get that uh, visibility and uh, there was a time when this thing was literally uh, disturbing me but now i don't bother much about subscribers or views because it's not in my hand all i can do is just i can uh, give my best shot and i am already giving Ah uh, yes, if I talk about my classes, I take online sessions uh, mostly on Google Meet or Zoom, uh, and I deal with the uh, students. Uh, there are some students who wants to uh, learn grammar, grammatical concept because I am a master's in English. So uh, yes, that is the reason I take these kind of sessions also. Earlier, I used to uh, teach them uh, subjects like English as a subject. topics lessons and kind of but nowadays i am just sticking to communication english only communicative english where i deal with the daily use sentences daily use vocabulary and of course grammatical concepts so i deal with homemakers also i deal with the uh, people of all ages so in a way i am exploring myself uh, like i am doing my best uh, efforts i am giving my best efforts to um enhance my communication skills and to share my knowledge because teaching is always uh, something that i want to uh, go for uh, this uh, profession but i um, cannot join a school because 
I do not want to disturb my family. Actually, it becomes difficult for me to handle all the things. So it's a better way. I think online uh, teaching is the best way uh, for the yes, yes. women like me who do not want yes. to step out. So that is, I am. I try to connect with the students, and it's been long time. So I have that uh, uh, publicity. To nahi bolungi, but now people know me. Uh, particularly in Himachal, they know me that this is Neha. She takes online classes, and yes, if someone is not able to afford, I teach that person for free of cost also. But yes, uh, he or she should be genuine or sense sincere about uh, you know learning that only. So, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am trying to share my knowledge in one way or the other. So this is very nice. You are doing a very nice thing. and you know as long as you are satisfied and happy with Haan. what you are doing you, you won't be feeling you won't be missing out on maybe i could do better or maybe i could go out and teach i i hmm. you seem to be very happy with what you are doing so yeah that's good yeah true that true that yeah, there was a time when i was lit, little bit disturbing about my uh, about the growth of my youtube channel because uh, i genuinely posted good videos it it's not that uh, i am talking about or i am praising myself but yes whenever i upload a video i make sure that i am sharing uh, authentic knowledge or good knowledge but the thing is when you don't get that visibility sometimes being a human being it is very natural when you do something you always uh, expect result expect but or outcome no but now i know that okay somehow i am able to present myself confidently and this was the thing that i always wanted to Uh, have that confidence by speaking so uh, credit goes to my youtube videos only and uh, uh, i have i also run a facebook page where i post uh, also same stuff uh, related english uh, language so uh, do, uh, like uh, my youtube uh, channel or my page both these uh, thing help me to um, connect with more people and now people know me they approach me for classes so in a way as you mentioned that really i am content and happy people happy person because uh, i am doing i am uh, using my time in a constructive way i'm not just vegetating so that's what matters to me mm-hmm. and now i just want to know more about you anything you want to share how uh, about your personal or because we can't say that we are uh, completely homemakers of course we are working professionals also yeah. so i want to know how is your life going on and uh, like what is your experience uh no uh, nothing in specific that i want to tell or share because everything is going on normally and uh, um, as my son grew and he stepped into school then i started looking for work so it's never been that i have uh, run out of work because mm-hmm. 10 years of my life i have invested in raising my children yes. i have two kids so five for one and five for the next so yeah that was very fruitful that was one phase of my life now i'm here to do something for myself it's like you know literally struggling to prove yourself uh-huh. i feel that sometimes you know as you know homemakers are somewhat underrated compared to men mm. uh, not by the men but by people who watch us like in laws yes. or parents you know they put us down as compared to men just because they earn and you know get some exactly. money at home and uh, i used to always feel that void and i should really feel bad about it so why are people respecting men more just because they are earning going Ani. out and earning you no know? yeah so i thought to like it has always been a thing that i have to do something for myself i was sure that i'm not going to settle just as a homemaker it's mm-hmm. not that i'm putting down homemakers i'm saying it's just homemaker yes. but there's so much more that we can do right exactly and yes this is the bitter fact bolo it's it's really a bitter fact of, of our society that people uh, value people on the basis of their earnings so yes. it's always like actually we are um, taught or we are just uh, brought up in such a way that we are uh, earning part always uh, we just you know we always look for our counterparts our male counterparts when it comes to, to go out uh, to go for a job or to hold that main responsibility financial independence when it comes to financial independence we always look up to our male counterparts because we uh, are taught or we are just raised in that way that man will go outside and they will earn money and women women were always supposed to be at their homes and to you know um, 
yes take care of their families but uh, time has been changing over years and it is uh, still in that process so that is the reason now uh, i'm also earning and uh, amount doesn't matter to me but yes once you start earning it gives you that uh, acknowledgement and it's very important it's very crucial if you want to be more confident more valuable person of your family so you need to be financially independent what i believe in today's era i guess so yes we should uh, give our uh, we should put our uh, efforts if uh, we have that qualification why why we are just sitting here we can do one thing or the other if you have any ability if you have any like there are people there are ladies who are good at uh slai bunai knitting and kind of stuff so i think <clears throat> in this era of technology <clears throat> we can uh, you know we can experience good things and we can uh, give our as you mentioned that you are uh, uh, turning your hobby into your profession so we can turn our hobbies into our profession it's not a bad thing so i think we are talking about so many you know uh, <laughs> like women uh-huh. empowerment and feminism i think our topic is turning into this side <laughs> so <clears throat> but it is really really uh, amazing conversation so have you had your lunch yes yes i'm done with my lunch what about okay. you yeah yes yeah, same i actually when you messaged me you know so i just started taking session today around at 12 and uh, now uh, i just took i guess 5 to 10 minutes break then i had my lunch and i'm sitting here uh, from that time only earlier i was uh, watching big boss i watched big boss after a <laughs> long time because uh, today i was feeling like i will spend some me time it's been long i am just you no know, uh, i have been uh, occupying in one thing or the other so i literally wanted to give some time to myself so that's what i did today morning and uh, by like around at 12 i started taking sessions so today i it's like off and off for me i'm not taking my regular classes because i i don't feel like doing anything today don't know why <laughs> but uh, yes it's going to be my last session for the day and then again i will spend now it's time to make a duty yes to make a duty yeah yes yes that's it and uh, yes after 10 minutes i will go to pick my son up from his school so this is how my uh, normally my day goes like this okay so i think video is getting longer and we should have yes, yes. session na? and i hope to yeah. see you again because i genuinely yeah. want to be in touch with you <laughs> definitely definitely i love i love talking to you and there are a lot more questions popping up in my mind but i'll preserve them for the next session Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. We'll uh, connect again. Okay. Thank you so okay. so much, and uh, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah. Same.